Hey guys, Mike here with another interesting episode. I have a very interesting product today. Um, all on my channel, I'm getting the car audios, uh, the nouns, I'm gonna get to the DJ amplifiers also, I believe, because some customers like uh, requesting to review some of the, their product. But th today, it's gonna be just a car audio. If you're a car audio enthusiast like myself, if you're running any subwoofers, amplifiers, Sometimes you have some problems to burn your subwoofer or clipping the subwoofer, making some rattling noise on the subwoofer because you're running like a wrong wattage, wrong output for the wrong subwoofer on the most of the time, less power for the amplifier, so you're clipping amplifiers, all kind of stuff can be. So if you, like me, the car enthusiast and you're running any subwoofer speakers, amplifiers, you have to invest for very good product. This is SMD AMM1. Um, this is an audio multimeter. Of course, this is a little pricey product for for the price. But um, when I was looking to the dynameters, those dynameters to measure the amplifier outputs, those are like a 3,000 to 3,500. So normal guys never gonna buy the dynameters. That's why we all watching. Um, on the YouTube videos, how they testing the amplifiers, all the stuff, but you're never gonna find your amplifier because there is no in the market like 100% all amplifiers is dynoid. Of course, manufacturer specs, it's gonna be different. They overrate sometimes that specs is advertising like 80%, 70%, some, some manufacturers 50%, they lying power output. So you buy the amplifier for 3000 watts RMS, but actually you're getting 1500 RMS and you're clipping the amplifier all day. So that's why SMD is a Steve made design. That's how it's called. This is a Steve's um, the signature. Uh, but the, the guy is like very good on the, you know, car audio enthusiast, but he's not gonna install, he's not the installer guy. He does everything for the fun. And he made this product. This is now around $450. Every single thing I review on my channel, I put the links on description. So I'm just like you sometimes I'm watching some stuff and I want to buy that and I'm opening the description and there is no links for that, you know, the product. So you got to go to Amazon, eBay to start to looking your research. I put always the best price when it's available and I put on, on the links. So let's open it and let's see what is inside for $450. So when you open, you have uh, when you open, you have owner's manual. So it says a lot of good stuff, and this product is not measures only real time power outputs. This is the best part. It's not gonna be like a power outputs on dynameter. You can see exactly what power is going right now to your uh, amplifier after you set it up. So you can also measure DC voltage. You can measure DC voltage drop and minimum and maximum AC voltage. AC voltage currency, measuring all the power factory, measuring AC frequency and impedance, real time power mode and dyno mode. So uh, th this is very good product. And when you're measuring the real time power mode, mode it's um, the frequency response needs a 20 Hertz to 1000 kilohertz, right? So let's open it. It's a nice packaging, it's very simple the device itself and what else you have you have a power connectors so the wires is made you're not you're not gonna get uh, the cheap cheap wires connection this is a, like decent decent wires all right have a cap some measurements of course you're gonna lose this one one two three but it's gonna leave these two parts so uh, it, it comes with the protection shell you see that it's some sometimes you can drop your device in this silicone case it will protect your uh, device this is the how it looks this is a Samsung Galaxy S plus uh, 9 plus or whatever so this is a comparison right and um, this is the hole you're gonna run I'm gonna explain how to use this in, in a minute so of course you need uh, nine volt battery to operate this device if you check your closet and you can get lucky you can find one of these batteries if not it doesn't come with it so definitely you have to order 9 volt batteries 
So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just turn on this device and we will connect, um, I have a here Cadence Audio Amplifier See that guys? Cadence Audio 1000.1 So we're gonna test this amplifier in the next uh, future videos and we'll see how it will work. So I have a power uh, AC adapter here. You see, I'm using my DIY uh, the toys. So we're gonna connect that one. Also, we're gonna measure it. So when you turn on, you have here just a, uh, the volt DC voltage. So you're gonna click mode in DC maximum and minimum. So you're gonna AC voltage, also RMS power per watts per amper and AC volt uh, that's the percentage AC frequency but Hertz and ohms and you're gonna go to real-time power and dyno power so you have a two power options here real-time and also you have a clipping light that's the more important thing you know when is your amplifier is clipping this is very good good stuff so these parts right here is like a sits like a blue, but we, I, I don't know it's gonna move or not, but we're gonna test that. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna just connect the wires, one, two, and ready to, to test. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna test this uh, power guys. Reason why I have this uh, the power output device, I'm using my DIY, and also on the future video, the next video, I'm gonna connect the Cadence Audio Class D amplifier and I'm gonna run this amplifier from this device and I will show you how this amplifier, the Class D is very, very efficient and puts up tons of power, not getting a lot of power from your, you know, the charging system or from your battery. So I prepared that for the next video, right? So yeah, this is SMD. Definitely guys, get one of these and you're gonna be happy on the future videos when I'm running my uh, the speaker test, amplifier test, or subwoofer test. I will use this device and we're gonna see how this device uh, like performed on the future. So how you run this device? So you're gonna connect this. You're gonna turn, on, turn off your amplifier that's a step one, right? You're gonna turn on, put the dyno mode, you're gonna turn off your amplifier, and this is a plus. In the minus, you're gonna connect to your amplifier terminals. It comes like plus and minus, right? Straight that. And you're gonna disconnect one of the wires, it doesn't matter, plus or minus, like negative or positive. You're gonna get one wire, and you're gonna put through this hole on the middle, you see that? The speaker wire. Not the power wire. These guys gonna go to power. This guy, the hole, you're gonna go through the, the plus, negative, or the positive through this hole, and you're gonna go to. You just connect to your uh, the subwoofer. So you see that pass through hole. You just throw it, connect it, and you start to running your amplifier like from the zero to to whatever the hertz you're gonna run. So it's gonna run from. You're gonna put the test tone like hertz. 20 hertz, 40 hertz, 50 hertz, 100 hertz, whatever hertz, you, you put it and you're gonna see that how much power you're getting at the real time. We will test a lot this um, device, we're gonna use it a lot on the future videos. So definitely guys, go ahead, check on description. Um, I put the best price, if it's available, it's, it sells very fast because it's only $450, then compare, you know, the $3,000, like $4,000 dynamiters. A lot of guys is buying this and it's always out of stock. So uh, yeah, that's it guys. I'm out. I'm gonna run the next video today and we'll see but what's gonna happen with the Cadence Audio and also I have a Cadence Audio subwoofer. All right, thank you very much for watching. If you didn't subscribe, definitely subscribe to my channel and I will put up um, a lot of good contents. If I missed anything, definitely guys comment below and I will add up in the future videos.